This car sounds awesome. And the sound. I'm gonna put it on an auction site, see what we can get for it. Uh, plus it's a little bit slow compared to my other cars. Hello. Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you guys been commenting, you wanna see more of my GT3. So today we're gonna take it out and I got a big surprise for you. And I never thought I'd have to move a mini Bugatti to get one of my cars out. And wait a minute, is this thing leaking? Yep, it is leaking, look at that. Oh man. Oh, all right. Well, let's see if we... Ooh. Are you guys ready for a cold start? Ooh. Oh, come on. Don't tell me he's dead. All right, hold on, I gotta call Bugatti. Hey, let's go. All right. I don't know, is, is this gonna make it? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, that was a struggle. All right. We need the Ford GT. We need the Porsche. We need my shades. Let's do this. Woo, what a gorgeous car. Oh, looks like we got um, a little wetness going on this morning. fluids, warm up the brakes. Dude, this thing sounds like a Formula One. Since this is also a V6, what sounds better, this car or the Ford GT? Oh my God, now you're putting me to the test. Well, I mean, this one's I don't know, classic. honestly, yeah. that's a hard decision. I would say the Ford GT. Ford GT? Yeah, I think so. Guys, I got a call from Coinesec this morning. I got a call from Bugatti this morning. All kinds of news. All of a sudden, things are in motion. They're gonna produce some cars. So my Yesco, uh, they said I gotta freeze my style. My style. <laughs> <laughs> my spec. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my spec is my style. Hello. Well, you guys remember the YouTube video we did about the Yesco spec, and I accidentally I guess submitted my spec and when you do that it freezes your spec and now I can't go back and change anything so I'm asking Coinesic kindly to reverse that reset that whatever you gotta do so I can actually go there and take a second look because it's time to freeze my spec and then I got a call from Bugatti they said we have a very special car that potentially is gonna be available to you and we need to know by this afternoon and it's four million dollars I'm like Wait a minute, that's uh, I'm not buying a pants over here. I need a little bit more time. <laughs> but uh, how can I say no to Bugatti? So I think it's time to sell the Bay One. I got 20 cars coming in, Valkyrie, Spider, Bully, AMG One, and a very, very, very cool and super fast McLaren. I can't talk about it yet because I signed it. 14 page NDA <laughs> but anyhow it's time to sell the Veyron I'm gonna put it on an auction site see what we can get for it uh, plus it's a little bit slow compared to my other cars hello sorry Bugatti hey guys quick interruption to the video I want to introduce you guys to my newest sponsor Skillshare look everybody needs a side hustle early in my life I was flipping cars on the weekends on the side while I worked for somebody else if you want to get ahead in life especially in this country the corporate life is not gonna make you wealthy. You gotta have a multi-pillar income and Skillshare is a perfect place to hone your skills at what you're already good at or pick up a new skill where you can have a side hustle. There's tons of tons of categories where they teach you how to learn to do different activities and some for fun and some to make a lot of money. For me, I love the photography. I have a great camera, a great lens, but I don't know how to use it and I'm tired of hearing my wife complain about my quality of photography. And by the way, the first thousand people that click the link below are gonna have a one month free subscription to a Skillshare. So click the link below to pick a new skill to make a better you for 2022. And the craziest thing happened with my SLR Heritage Edition one of one and uh, with the shipping, the airlines are all out of whack with pricing. First it was $30,000 to airship it. 
and then it went up to 49,000. Then it went to $100,000 during Christmas. So I've been saying no, 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 because I just don't like to be gouged. And then they said they finally said, okay, January is gonna be better pricing, $34,000 to ship it. And um, I said, great success. And then right when I'm about to wire the deposit to the freight company, they said the airline changed it again, now it's 46,000. Anyhow, I'm just getting very frustrated. Can somebody please ship my car for a bargain? And I don't dare to send it on a freight liner or a container uh, via sea because every time I look at from my view in the backyard, I see about 70 of those things floating and waiting to be docked. So I don't want my car to be in one of those because that could be a year. I think we warmed up the engine. And guys, my AMG Black Series is at the port January 26th. When is that? Today's the 17th. So another two weeks, I'll be getting my AMG Black Series. So another two weeks, my AMG Black Series is going to arrive. 700 plus horsepower. Can't wait to drive that puppy. Oh my God, that sound. I'm just enjoying this car. And have you guys seen the size of the calipers on the front of this Porsche? It's humongous. So this is GT3. What would you like to see being carried over to the GT3 RS? Or what would you like to see things improve from this car? Hmm. Honestly, bigger wing, uh, which it does have a much, it has a humongous wing. I've seen the spy photos in the GT3 on track. GT3 RS that is. More downforce. And I don't know if I wanted to go faster. This thing's so fast. I would just say more aggressive aero, which it does. So I'm super excited for the RS. And that's coming next year. Before you know it, another Porsche coming in. And talking about the GT4 RS, I can't wait for that car to come in because it's the first time Porsche has ever done an RS on the GT4. So that should be interesting and hopefully it's limited. Is it limited? I don't know, but uh, who cares? <laughs> Is that coming in yellow or white or what were we thinking? I don't know, you know what? I'm stuck on yellow for now. I made next three Porsches, I think I'm gonna order them all in yellow. So for Bugatti Bayron, it's a 2006, 14,000 miles, just got fresh service, new shoes. I'm thinking to put on a bring a trailer because I saw a Porsche Carrier GT sell for 1.9 million. <laughs> oh, I said that all in one second. I'm hoping I can uh, get top dollar and bring a trailer. It's an auction platform, so it'd be fun to watch. Uh, what do you guys think? Unless you guys want to write me a check, I'll save me the hassle. Let's test the brakes. Very nice. I don't know. I don't want to go back. This is so much fun. No, honestly, this is the one time I prefer to keep driving and not go back because this car is so much fun, especially when the roads are wet. All right, guys, let's take this puppy in. And this was such a fun ride. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and be safe, be well. See you guys next week. So I sold this for 40.7 million uh, two years ago. So I made about close to $12 million. Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. So there's a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in a great location and repurpose it.
While one state, for example, Houston, that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession, you may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.